guys, hola, annyeong, welcome back to my channel. I'm Estefania, and today's video, I'm gonna be doing a Yes Style bag haul. So I'm excited because Yes Style were kind enough to gift me these bags, and I just wanna try them out for you and show you what I like and what I don't like. So by no means is Yes Style paying me to do this and all my reviews on these bags is going to be my 100% unbiased opinion. So if I like it, I'll let you know. If I hate it, I'll let you know too. But I just want to share these bags with you and see if you're in, in the lookout for a new bag. Maybe you'll be interested in one of these. I personally love Yes Style. I buy a lot of their skincare from them and some makeup. Um, I haven't dived in too much into clothing because their clothing tends to be a little bit smaller and I'm not small so that's a little bit of an issue sometimes but I have bought a couple bags from them and I think they're good quality. Actually let me show you. So this is off topic. This is not one of the bags they sent me. This is actually one I purchased on my own with my own money and it's one of my favorite bags like currently this is the bag I'm using at the moment it's a tote bag I love tote bags because they're very convenient and they fit a lot and I personally love this one a lot because it has a zipper so if I want to make sure all my items are secure I just zip it up and if I lay it down and it falls it nothing will spill out and I love the design it has. This is my everyday current bag and I love it. I have to start off with my favorite one because I already mentioned I love tote bags. I love the ocean and I love like it's black. I don't have a black tote bag and so it, it won't get as dirty as my white one. The only thing I don't like about this one is that it doesn't have the zipper like the one I already have. So you do have to be careful when you're laying it down because if it does fall, um, it will spill your items out. Um, it does have these little cords on the inside that you can tie to make it a little bit more secure. So I think it would help because it does make it very tight, but just the, the sides are gonna be exposed. Um, but I, I, I mean, it's, it's nice, but it's not my favorite. If it doesn't have a zipper I love things with zipper sorry and but it does have a zipper pouch on the inside so it looks like this so if you want to store right here like your your wallet your keys your lipstick things that you don't want to lose well lipstick you can lose but like your keys and your wallet if you want to store that in here and zip it up um, they'll be safe from you know falling that falling out so i like that but yeah so i'm gonna sh right here i'm gonna post a picture but that's how i would style it if i were to wear it out it's it's a very simple bag so you can pretty much style it with anything also this bag is called the tang tang bags canvas printed shopper bag and they do have it in white and black and um, but i got sent the black one and I will leave in the description box below all the links to all the bags. So if you are interested in it, you can go ahead and purchase it. So now the second bag is this little cutie pie. This is called the Diamante Lettering Strap Oxford Sling Bag. And they sent me the white one. Um, they have various colors. They have pinks, greens, reds. Um, but I'm glad that they sent me the bl the white one because I think it goes with a lot of items, black and white. And it's a sling bag, so you can, you know, put it over your your body and just have it like right here. This is my second favorite bag because whenever I do take my dog on a walk or hiking, um, most likely walks because I don't like to hike as much. But when I do take them on walks. Um, this is perfect for me to put in his like poop bags, um, some treats, um, my keys, my phone. If I don't want to carry it, I can put everything in here because it, it's small, but it fits a lot. It does have a zipper and 
it, it's very spacious in my opinion and then it also has a little pouch right here in the big in the front and it has this cord that you can you know tighten it to make it really tight but personally i mean i don't think i will use it necessarily maybe i'll put maybe a chapstick in here or maybe the proof packs in here so it'll be easier access than the than the zipper but if it had a zipper right here i think i would like it even more than i already do but i still really like it a lot and i'm gonna insert a picture right here so you can see how i would use it most likely i would use it when i'm working out or walking my dog so my third favorite bag is this one this is called the co core croc grain strap buckled bucket bag that's a mouthful <laughs> but this is in the color khaki um and this is the small version they have different versions they have a little bit taller ones smaller ones personally i like the green one they have but this is still a nice color because it's neutral and it fits a lot of clothing but the green one really stood out to me but this one's still really nice so this is a very cute size like the size it's small but it fits the basics and essentials like you can put your keys your wallet your phone maybe a lipstick and powder maybe depending how big your phone is so it does have like this pouch area here that opens up if you oops, you go like this this is to tighten it and then you just open it up and that's where you put all your items so it's a it's a decent size it's not i wish it was a little bit bigger but it's still pretty nice um but when you do tighten it back up it stays pretty secure so i don't think it will open unless like you really like try to fling it open but overall i think it's cute um it's a cool concept with you know with the string bag inside and i like the straps because they're not metal i like when they're this material so it's more comfortable when you put it over your shoulder and it does have the ability for you to take off the strap if you're not into you know putting it over your shoulder you just want a, a handbag so this little side buckle thing if you actually lift it it can actually become like a, a strap for you to hold your bag it's a little thick in my opinion like it's or maybe i just have small hands but like you kind of have to scrunch it if you want to hold it or you just like grab it very delicate delicately like this but i think it's cute um i don't see myself using this bag on the daily basis because i don't i don't need this kind of bag so now i'll move on to the fourth bag so it's this one and it has a strap as well let me go a little bit back so you can see it it's the same on both sides so it's very simple this is called the road to love croc grain fall leather shoulder bag in the color brown and they offer black and brown and i'm glad this is not real leather because if not i would have given it away right away because i'm all against using animals for the making of bags so I'm glad this is fake leather. I'm glad. And yeah, this is a very elegant, simple bag. It gives me 90s feel, like a 90s feel to it. Like something your mom would have worn in the 90s. Like going to church or just out in town. I don't know. It gives me that throwback feeling. Like something in friends or something like that. Another reason why it's not one of my favorites is because it doesn't have a zipper it just has like a a magnetic you know buckle right here that you just snap it into place the nice thing about this is it is very tight here so it's not very open so if it does fall i don't think many things will fall out unless you, you see there's not there's not much space for the it to fall out so i mean that's nice and the strap I like I like the material because it's very very soft and flexible as you can see it's very bendy so it doesn't bother me on the strap on the shoulder but it's not adjustable so this is the size that it's gonna stay at yeah, and so if 
this size is not your favorite, then you might not like this bag at all. I personally don't mind the size. I'll show you a picture right here um, how it looks when I style it. So I don't see much much use of this bag at the moment. Maybe later once things start opening back up, then maybe I'll use this more often. But at the moment, I'm not a big, big fan of it. Um, so I'm just going to save it for when the time comes and I need a bag like this. I still think it's cute. I like that it's structured. So I'm pretty sure if you lay it down, yeah, I laid it down and it stayed there. So that's convenient. And I like the brown color more than the black. So I like this. Now I'll move on to the fifth and final bag. And unfortunately my least favorite, I'll tell you why it's my least favorite. So this is called the, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, Echinops or Echinops. Heart shaped clutch with shoulder strap in the white large so this is what it looks like it has it's white and has like this mesh over it mesh design of this flower like clear mesh with the, the flower embroidery and it has this gold like strap little strap that you can just hold it like this and this is what i don't like personally uh, this is not my favorite so i don't know if you can see this, this little knob that opens the bag open, it's bedazzled in like, you know, jewelry, like sparkly jewelry. I personally don't like that at all. If they would have just left it gold, like the straps and like the rim right here, then I thought this would have been a big win for me. But just because of that with the sparkles, I don't think it fits the bag. It doesn't fit the theme. It would have been more classy without all these sparkles, in my opinion. But yeah, when you, so I'll show you. So when you op you fling it back like that, it opens the bag and it's red. It kind of reminds me of like an old school uh, ring box when you got proposed to like back in the day and the inside used to be red, like very romantic. And that's what it reminds me of. It's a little tacky in my opinion. I'm not it's not my favorite design, but they should have left it white or or black. I don't like the red. And when you do close it, another thing I notice is that it doesn't close all the way here. Like nothing's gonna fall out, but you can kind of see an opening here. I don't know if it's just how it was made or if it's just defective, but I wish it was like you know completely completely close like that but it's not and i'm gonna show you a picture here of how i styled it and personally for me i would have just used it as a handbag because the strap that it comes with is this like gold chain looking material and and personally i don't like anything metal on my ch shoulders I just don't like the feeling and especially this design of of this um let me show you so you see how it, it looks like that this is a very common material that I feel that it will pull at your your hairs like your baby hairs that you have on your skin like the little hairs I feel like it would just like poke you all the time so I don't like the strap that's why I didn't put it on there on my when I took the pictures but if you do like the straps, it does look nice with the straps if, if maybe you have a long sleeve shirt or a sweater over this, then yeah, because then you wouldn't feel this on your skin. But if you're wearing something that exposes your shoulder, then I wouldn't wear it with the strap. Personally, this one, the design of it, it's cute, but not this version of it. I don't like this. I I recommend going with the smaller one and getting the white one or the green one. Those are really, really adorable. So yeah, that was the end of the haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Personally, if I were to purchase any of them, I would just purchase the sling bag that for running and the tote bag. The first two, my two favorite ones. Um, the other ones, honestly, I have other bags for occasions like that, that I don't need that bag. 
I don't need those bags, but they're still really cute bags. So if you are looking for something like that, those are good options. The material is nice and it seems they seem sturdy. They don't seem like they're going to break easily. So if you are interested in those bags, like I said before, I'm going to leave all the links in the description box below so you can check them out if you're interested in them. If not, it's okay. I'm just I just hope that you enjoy this video and like seeing all these goodies from YesStyle and so if you like this video give this video a thumbs up subscribe and let me know in the comment section down below what other video you like me to do you want me to do another haul video um another collaboration with YesStyle or try something else from another company let me know in the comment section down below be safe be healthy and be happy and we'll see you next time bye adios annyeong